For the past few decades, this has been one of the major unsolved problems in physics. Even some of the big names have tried to solve it and failed. Many scientists today have made it their life's goal to find its solution. It is the theory of everything. Welcome back guys. Today we'll talk about the theory of everything. Why is it hard to solve and most importantly, what is the need for it? Before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and help us reach that 1k mark. It will be a huge support from your side in this early days of the channel. Now, for those of you who are wondering what the theory of everything is, well, it can be termed as a hypothetical single theory that fully explains and links all aspects of the universe. Isn't that amazing? So, why is it not formed yet? Well, the laws of physics can roughly be split into two. The ones which govern the macro world which we experience in our day-to-day -day life. These help us understand from why we slip on ice to how a star-eating supermassive black holes are formed. And then there are the ones which govern the atomic world. These help us know the characteristics of atoms and its subatomic particles, which also includes superposition, entanglement and all other confusing stuff. Although we don't have a 100% understanding of both, we do know to a certain degree that they work perfectly in their respective areas. So why am I telling you all this? Well, in modern physics, the macro world is governed by Einstein's theory of relativity and the atomic world is governed by quantum field theory. These are the two pillars of modern physics and their unification is the key for finding the theory of everything. And this is where the problem arises. They do not go along. In simple terms, relativity pictures the universe like this pool of water with occasional small ripples. Whereas, according to quantum mechanics, the universe is like an ocean in thunderstorm, filled with unpredictability, randomness and chaos. This is the reason why scientists are struggling for decades to put together the theory of everything. But now it seems that we are closer than ever. String theory is currently the closest thing we have to a theory of everything. String theory will be discussed in details in the upcoming videos. To watch it first, ring that notification bell. But for now, let us address a question from the general public. That is, why do we need a theory of everything? What is the necessity? If both relativity and quantum field theory holds perfect in their areas, why do we need the other one? To understand that, we need to go back a little in history. In the classical era, Newton and others formulated and created a fundamental understanding about mechanics and gravitational effects which led to the industrial revolution. Later, in the early 20th century, the mastering of another fundamental force, the electromagnetic force, led to the development of electronics and information era. Few decades later, we unlocked the power of strong and weak nuclear forces, which led to the development of nuclear power plants and understanding the power source of stars. If you see, these events are not only scientific achievements, but each of those changed our lives forever. Such developments are the key for a clearer understanding of the universe and for human survival in future. Physicists believe that the next big breakthrough will come by the formulation of theory of everything, which represents all four fundamental forces under a single theory. In addition, such a theory is expected to explain the events before the Big Bang and at the center of a black hole, which the current theories fail to explain. What is your idea about a theory of everything? Do you think it is possible? Will it unlock the unknown mysteries of the universe? Tell us in the comments below. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Also, feel free to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and don't miss our next video on the butterfly effect.